Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Nurman Abib bin Azamuddin. Our matrikan number is 1918431. And today, I would like to introduce my project about Gomba Art and Craft Handiwork Center for Chris. Before we go further, I would like to talk about a little bit about the project. This project is aiming for a center that serves a great place for Chris production and also to expose the center for education that tell the knowledge about the craze, art and craft itself for public people. I would like to start my presentation with exposing my first board. So this is the overall view of my boards. I would like to start with the sketch of the perspective. This is the idea of form for my Gomba Art and Craft Center itself. Moving on to the key plan, as you can see from the drawing, the white lines indicates the roads that can be accessed directly to the center. Because of the place is located at Gomba, the near district can be accessed easily at Taman Sri Gomba, Sungai Pusu and Batu Cave. While for location plan, it shows that near place can be as neighborhood area is IIUM, Bukit Tabo, Kuala Sri Gomba and Sungai Chinchin. Next, I would like to continue my explanation with the design statement. The Gomba Art and Craft Center focus is not mainly focused for the production only. It is also a center that serves education for public people about the craft itself. With the concept of Istana Melayu, it purposely can bring the user back to the ancient time, where craft production only can be found at the Istana Melayu only. Other than that, with design form that show a diagonal shape represent strong and bold as Chris identity. Next, I would like to focus on my study on the client of this project. The client name is Andesrin Edwan. He has a role as CEO in one of best Chris shop company called Chris Empire that sold a lot of various Chris since 2014. From my study about the client, it indicates that the client prefer the great concept of Malay traditional because he wants to show that the originality of the craze was good from Malay traditional. While for the site study, the synthesis the I gain are the entrance can be at the center or it can be another option to put at the side of the boundaries. Also, the site has to propose the gate as barrier from the wild animals come into the site. Lastly, for minor synthesis, the lighting sources need to be added and the type of tree can be used as the same type from the outside the site. Move on to the preceding study. I have selected one art and craft center in India. From the study itself, I identify on how to arrange my space area from the public spaces to the private spaces zoning. Lastly, about my case study, I made some research on the method that can be suited for my workshop. Because of my center is focused on the crease, it required a lot of spaces because it needs 4 stages for to complete the crease. The stages are for metal production, wood production, for the casing, the place for crease, cuff, and lastly soaking stages for crease in specific substances. For synthesis, it will affect my decision of building materials and also space planning. I would like to continue my explanation into the second board. The second board consists of design development, Bible drug game, and site plan. Move on to the design development. I will explain on how my design was designed based on the specific purpose. For the first diagram, I started my design with line that form rectangular that respond to entrance and also sun path. Next, I create a form of square that indicate the entrance near to the side entrance itself. After that, I highlight a rectangular shape that show the public spaces like shop, lobby and cafe as a respond to the entrance. Next, I allocate vertical rectangular that attached to the public spaces to use as exhibition area so the public area attached direct to exhibition this planning area is taken from my preceding study as another response 
I would like to propose the workshop area attached to the exhibition so people from exhibition area can be directly attached to workshop to see the crest production. After that, the blank space between the area of workshop and public spaces can be used as courtyard and the courtyard can be used by public people to have interaction with people from workshop. For next diagram, in the first floor, I would like to propose musola and seminar room. And the, lastly, for the third floor, I propose to use the whole space as private spaces for office. As a result, I transfer all the design development into the bubble diagram. The first bubble diagram shows the ground floor space planning. The thing that I want to highlight is the idea of attaching the exhibition area and workshop area. I will explain it more on floor plan. And the next bubble diagram is for first floor. I allocate the place for musola and seminar room. And lastly, for a second floor, as mentioned earlier, I would like to use as a private spaces for office. Move to the site plan. The first thing I want to highlight is the route to access into the building. As you can see, I propose the two accessing road for entering and also exit the site. And for my road in the site, I use one-way road. So visitor and staff can go directly to the left for the parking while entering to the site and it can go directly to exit routes. While for loading transportation, it can go straight to the design space for the loading area and can go directly into the exit routes. While for landscape planning, I only place the two points to reflect back the idea of Istanbul Melayu itself and the public spaces between the building and pond to serve public people to appreciate the building facade. Next, I would like to move to the third board which explains more about the ground floor plan. Move on to ground floor drawing. From the entrance, the user will reach the reception first on the lobby. And after that, it can be directly attached to three areas which are shop area with restroom, cafe and can be continued straight to exhibition area. As you can see from my exhibition design, I use three spaces to exhibit the Chris production. And also, I would like to propose my idea on the method how I attaching my exhibition area and workshop area. As you can see, I put the hue glass frame so user in exhibition area can have a look on how the process of Chris production itself while appreciating the Chris exhibition. And for the left side courtyard, I would like to attach it with the outdoor cafe area that I designed with Malay style so people can appreciate it while have their meal. While right side of the courtyard, I propose to use as activity area for public users to interact with staff in there so the staff can use this area to show the explanation or demonst demonstration more details increase. And for workshop, I design it attached with courtyard so the staff can be accessed from the exhibition area direct into the space. Other than that, for the right side of our workshop, I also propose the stairs that can be accessed to the first floor which are directly to launch for staff in workshop to rest. Lastly, I also allocate the lab in the workshop for soaking process for craze. I would like to continue my presentation into the next board, which are consists of first floor plan and second floor plan. While for the first floor, it can be accessed from the stairs on exhibition area in the ground floor and also the stairs from the area attached to workshop. For the main staircase, it can be used for public user and staff to go to the seminar room and musola, while the other staircase the staff from workshop can be directly go to the lounge. Also, it can be used for the special guests to access into the client office at the second floor. 
Lastly, on second floor, it can be only accessed from the staircase on the right side. From the staircase, it serves the waiting area for special guests to use before entering into the client office. And from there, the staff can be accessed directly into the open office, client office and meeting room. Move on to the fifth box. This fifth box consists of section Y to Y, the interior sketches and section X to X. Next, we go to the selection cut of Y to Y. As you can see here, the idea of my outdoor dining room can be attached with the courtyard. And also, at the right, the quiet area are used to propose as demonstration area for public user to interact the people in the workshop. Move on to the view to an outdoor cafe and courtyard. So this is my sketches idea on how to design my outdoor dining space with people sit on the floor, like Malay traditional style, while having the courtyard view. And also, here is the sketch idea on how I want to propose my exhibition area with integrating the view of people producing in the craze workshop. As you can see here, the idea of another courtyard that I use to integrate the staff and public user on the demonstration or explanation in the details of craze itself. And lastly, for this board, the drawing of the section cut of X to X, where you can see my ground floor and first floor can be used by the public user, and the second floor only can be used by the private user. Moving on to the next board, which is six boards. As you can see, this board is consists of the elevation drawings. From the elevation drawing. At the front side, as you can see here, I use the principal design of hierarchy at the middle with the repetition of pitch room to show the concept of Istana Melayu itself. While for the side elevation, you can see how I play with the color scheme which are black, dark reddish brown and also light brown. For another elevation, as you can see here, I also use the different color with the light brown to highlight the facade of the building itself. And for the rear elevation, I use the pitch roof and also the mono pitch roof to combine the modern style with the traditional style. Moving on to the last board of my presentation board. This last board is consists of the construction details and also the water supply and sanitary 3D diagram. As you can see from my construction details drawing, for the first thing is the roof finish itself. For the roof finishes, I would like to use as the clay finishes because it can be portrayed as the concept of the Istanbul Melayu. And as you can see, the detail of roof have a timber pattern and also for the wall, I would like to use as the timber cladding even though I will use the brick wall as the structural material and the timber cladding with the brick wall can be attached by the wall stud and also there is timber rafter that support the roof structure and also the brick wall with the plaster board side and also I use a concrete slab as the floor and there is hardcore under the concrete slab and also the foundation. Moving on to the water supply and sanity diagram in 3D. The blue color indicates the water supply and the brown color is indicated for the sanity diagram. As you can see, for the water supply, I use indirect system. While for the sanity diagram, I use 5 manholes to get things through the wastage into the public sewer. Finish for the board. Next. Move on to the construction model. As you can see from my construction model, it clearly states that I use a post and beam system. Here are some four photos of my final model. 
So as you can see from my photos, I already implement the concept of external Melayu itself. As you can see at the middle of the building, it show the repetition and also play with the hierarchy design. And also, I use some of the mono pitch style to use a combination of the traditional and modern style of architecture. I think that's all from me today. Thank you for listening.